Hello and welcome back to my craft room. <laughs> Just checking I'm not actually doing a stream incident, which is what my friends on Twitch have come to call my accidental streamings. <laughs> I think I've pressed start recording or stop recording and I've actually pressed start streaming instead. <laughs> yeah, a bit embarrassing. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, I've got <clears throat> about an hour and a half and um, I want to get on with another page in my Create This book. So I've got to be quick. I've chosen the one I want to do and I've done a little bit of prep. Let me show you what I've got. Here we go. I've marked the page. I've marked the page with this lovely little place um, name card that um, my granddaughter Macy made when we went round for our second Christmas dinner with them the other day. She'd made these for everybody and I thought it was really beautifully done. We did something similar to this similar to this on one of our one of our videos that we did together during the holidays so that's really nice i love that and i'm going to keep using it as a bookmark <laughs> okay so i'm now taking it out of the page that i tried to mark so <laughs> here we go this is what i'm going to do create a page of garbage Draw, photograph, write or attach a bunch of items that you regularly throw in the garbage. Well, I am, as I often do, going to put um, my own spin on this a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to go through my rubbish bins that I've got here in my craft room. I don't, I try not to throw very much away. I'm a real hoarder and I think there's an awful lot of things that we can put to use and turn into um, new and beautiful and useful things. So... I do tend to hoard a lot of what other people might throw away, I think. But So this is my recycling bin. Um, and then I've also got an actual rubbish bin. I'm going to go through... It might be a little bit gross, especially the rubbish one, but I'm going to go through and um, see what I can actually find in here. And what I want to do is turn it into something beautiful. And to me, butterflies are a really good symbol of transformation, um, as well as being beautiful to look at. So what I'm gonna use as, as my sort of basis for my design is this um, picture that I did. I can't even show you, it's too big to get it completely on the camera. But I did this for a scrawler challenge a few months ago now with some we had these um was it paints i think it was some kind of paints like iridescent yes it was kind of iridescent watercolor paints oh they were lovely to use and um yeah you can see what a lovely time i had to, with these um so what i've done is i've used my own design here and i've copied some of the butterfly shapes and made myself some little templates out of waste card out of the bin already um, and then I'm going to see what I can find in my bins use these templates draw around them and I'm going to create a, kind of a flock of butterflies a bit like in that uh, painting that I just showed you and um, I think I'm going to have a background perhaps showing a bin <laughs> a bit like this so I'm going to have the top of a rubbish bin here a sort of sky background and then a flock of beautiful butterflies made out of the rubbish from my craft room bins. I say the rubbish bin might be a bit gross. I mean, it won't be gross in that there's no actual food in there or anything like that. So it shouldn't be too horrible, but <laughs> we'll see. And then I might end up having to apply some colour to some of those pieces of rubbish as well to enhance my butterflies and I might do some outlining and things. So we'll see, but I've only got an hour and a half. So I think the first thing I ought to do is get the background down quickly because that's going to be a little bit wet and leave that to dry while I rubbish through the bins and make some butterflies so let's just i'm gonna the quickest way i find to get a quick background on these pages is just to scribble with some different um water soluble supplies so i've got so gelato is one of my favorites they're lovely they're so soft they go it feels like you're drawing with a lipstick <laughs> they're so soft and then you can activate them with water um, I've also got one of these Neo Art water soluble wax pastels. It seems weird for it to be wax and water soluble, but <clears throat> but they are. These are a bit. These go feel a bit 
harder. They're not so soft and lipsticky as the other ones, but they're still lovely. So you can see how quick this is. Um, I haven't left room for the rubbish bin though, have I? What I might have to do is make the rubbish bin out of something else and stick it on afterwards. <coughs> I really want to get the main body of this done in that hour and a half and I might have to titivate a bit later before before I finish editing this and upload it I'm not sure and then this one is a woody stabilo so it's like a chunky water soluble waxy pencil it seems a bit pointless because I'm just putting it onto white but it will kind of mix with the blue when I water activate it <coughs> excuse me I've got a bit of a sore throat today I had my flu jab a couple of days ago and I've been feeling just a little bit sort of like maybe I've got a bit of a temperature and a little bit headachey. Not too bad, but yeah. I've had all my vaccines now and my booster. The main problem with the booster was a blimmin' painful arm. Very, very painful arm. For a good week. Anyway enough of that so now i'm just going to spritz it with some water not too much because this paper is sort of you know just book paper so it's not you know it's not made for having a lot of wet on it so i'm just going to do that and then rub it in with my finger because come on it's like doing that it's like finger painting when you're a kid although to be fair i never much liked finger painting when i was a kid i didn't like getting my fingers in sticky things beach was a nightmare didn't like gritty sand stuck to me either still don't <laughs> don't like the beach <laughs> I'm a bit weird about certain things oh, I'm probably gonna edit that out I probably don't want you all to know how weird I am <laughs> okay so a lot of this I'm not going to worry too much about this because a lot of it's going to be you know covered up anyway I'm gonna be sticking my bin here and there's gonna be butterflies all over the place so there we go oh, I'm quite happy with that for my cloudy sky put that to one side and I'm gonna start rummaging in the bin <laughs> <laughs> now let's just carefully take these gloves out they look a lot nastier than they are it was only where we were making Macy's magical cloud dough with corn flour conditioner body lotion and then we added in some pigment powder which is when the gloves came out just to give it a bit of colour so that, that's all that is they look a lot mankier than they really are <laughs> see now once upon a time I'd have kept all of these little bits of pipe cleaners because they probably could turn out to be useful but I've I've got such a lot of stuff hoarded I kind of just stopped myself now I'm looking again I think I'm going to have to retrieve these pipe cleaners because I can't bear to throw them away here we go here we go so this is where over the Christmas period <laughs> I've been up here in my craft craft room nibbling at sweeties I don't know if those oh, they could work they could work let's let's and then this is the uh, the recycling so there could be a few bits I can take them here and again at once upon a time I would have cut I would have kept every usable bit of card and everything but I've just I've had to rein it in a little bit oh good find because tissue so I am going to use these little templates that I've cut so some of them are quite small so even on these little tiny bits of <laughs> these little tiny bits of sweetie papers you know that's big enough to cut that out from so I'm going to cut these butterfly shapes out now cut out as many as I can um, I'll stop recording while I do that because it'd be a bit boring to watch and then by that stage my background should be dry and I can just glue these on and then probably I will use coloured pencils or pens or something to add the little bodies and perhaps outline them a bit so we'll see we'll see how that goes right I'm going to stop recording and cut out a whole load of butterflies 
that is, I think, all of the butterflies I need. Well, it's going to just have to be all of the butterflies that I need. Um, some of these ones that are plain white or silver, I will probably use um, different kinds of pencils or markers to give them a bit of colour. Um, but I think I'll do that once they're on the page. So what I'm going to do now, oh look, it's all curled up as it's dried. I'm going to just roughly lay these out on the page and then see if Pritt stick or whatever glue stick I've got, yeah, Pritt stick, will stick all these different kinds of materials to the page. And then I will add colour where I, where I need to and outline them. I think I'm going to put the rubbish bin in afterwards so then it will look like it, they're coming out of. Well, it might not be a rubbish bin, it might be a pile of rubbish. I might end up retrieving stuff out of that bin again to make it look like a pile. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's just roughly lay these out. Oh yeah, I've got plenty here. Had a little play around i think what i'm going to do is start with the smallest ones first at the top i'm going to aim for having kind of yellowy golds through greens to blues and through to the purpley pinks i'm going to stop recording now and glue them down to the page and then i'll come back and show you how i've gone but yeah that's the rough idea starting with the smallest ones because they're furthest away and the biggest ones will be nearest and then right here at the bottom i will retrieve some more of these the scraps out of my bin and make it look like it's a pile of rubbish that's transforming into butterflies and flying away i like that idea well it's actually the next day i ran out of time yesterday but i did do quite well i got them all stuck on the page so um let's go to the desk and we can carry on. So I was really pleased with how this came out. I went back into the bin again and got some more tiny scraps of paper so that I could make this look like a pile of rubbish um, being transformed into um, this kind of flock of butterflies. I don't know if it is a flock. Is it a flock? Is it a flutter of a flutter of butterflies? That would be good. Butterflies for me are a really good symbol of transformation and transition. So um, I'm quite happy with how this turned out so far. I want to add a little bit of colour to some of these white ones and um, the uh, silvery pieces. The way it's catching the light now, I can't see which are silver and which are gold. So silver, silver, silver. I've got my Pritt stick here so I can just stick down any that aren't quite... It's stuck even this stuff really surprisingly well. I, I, I thought this plasticky wrapping wouldn't like being stuck to the paper with uh, with a glue stick but it seems to have worked pretty well. I don't mind if some of these bits stick up a bit. Yeah, the only difficult bit was some of the foily pieces tore as I was trying to stick them and they were a bit fiddly but gold yellow blend well that sounds ideal doesn't it. These, these uh, tri-blend markers are brilliant so you've got basically three kind of shades of the same colour so it's lovely when you're um, so these are alcohol markers. I'm not going to use them on the paper. I'm going to use them on the silvery bits. What's that coming out? Might need to use the darker one. Let's try the middle one first. Oh yeah, that's doing it. Oh, quite like that. So with these ones, I'm going to try my uh, ink tense pencils. So with ink tense. You can just use them like a really nice colour pencil, but the magic with ink tents is when you add water. Oh, look at that. And they're so pigmented, you know, they just look beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that here as well because I just love that colour. I 
I might transition this one into the green. Yeah, as long as it gives a vague impression of butterflies, that's that's all I all I need really. All right, let's add a bit of blue to this one. Mm. This looks like they don't really want to colour over this as well as I thought they would. I wonder whether to try something different. Sharpie. Yeah. Nope. a little bit of colour but it's not great. I think I might get some alcohol ink instead. Oh, I can't seem to make anything work very well on there. I've used them on all sorts of surfaces before and it's been fine, but not today. I might have to give that bit up as a bad job, I think. So now I'm just going to use the Ink Black Ink Tense Pencil and I'm just going to outline some of these butterflies to give them a bit more definition. Hopefully this will work how I want it to. Also, just add a bit of. Uh, it's a bit glossy. This now it's not going to want to go over there. Try this blue instead. So I think maybe that black is just too well black. So I'm happy with this um, sea blue colour the outline so I'm going to outline all of the butterflies now and then I'll I'll uh, activate them all afterwards don't know it's not really having the effect I was after at all I just have to hope that the um, fine liners are gonna save the day I need to leave that to dry for a little while now so I'm gonna stop recording and come back in a few minutes when this is dry well that's a shame I've just gone to stop recording and realized that I hadn't actually started recording. I hope that doesn't mean I was doing another accidental streaming all that time. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. But anyway, you can see what I've done now. I've just ended up doing um, the pens that worked the best in the end were the Posca paint pens. I used the black and the white. I just did a really scribbly line um, all around the, the, the actual stuck on shape and into the background just uh, really scribbly to try and give it a feeling of, of movement and a bit, bit of fun you know and then I just did some dotting with white just because I like dotting and um and you see I'm, I'm not quite happy with that really it's not exactly how I had it in my head but then things never do turn out quite how I how I pictured them I like how it um it's got different textures shiny bits and you know yeah 
Well, I'm quite happy with that. Um, it's time to um, finish up now and cobble this together, ready to go up to YouTube. <laughs> um, and and I'm going to get my um, slow stitch and stuff ready for the morning as well. Woohoo! So, uh, <laughs> um, so that's me done for tonight. And I hope you enjoyed watching that. Thanks ever so much for joining me. And I will see you again really soon. Bye!